All right. So, you are asking, is the camera too wide in both shots? Do I need to get in closer? Maybe. It's a bit too wide as in um, also in terms of your widescreen. I know you said have the guy walk away, but I wanted to try this instead. I just It just popped in my head. If it doesn't work, I'll do the guy walking away. Still working on the hands, eyes, lips. I'll probably tackle that next. All right. Awesome. Love it. Great notes. So I put this together just as a sequence. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find a good man? So first of all, the cut works really well. <sighs> Why is it so hard to find... It's just probably... Since it's just blocking. It's really, really fast. Why Boom. It... How she stops. So she will come down. Like, keep that speed. How this connects between the two shots is great. Then just ease into this more. Because you want to feel how it's, you know, butt cheeks onto a flat ground. It's going to be some softer stop. And she can start the line while still going down. So she might, Why is it so you know, by now, 107 on the second shot, she might stop. It's so hard to find a good man. And... Let's go one by one after that. So yeah, to me, that would be just be this for the transition. But again, those two shots together, they work really well. So if I go one by one, so you're mentioning this, and I actually love it. That's actually, that's a great idea. All I would do is probably reframe to something like this. Oh, shit. Uh, leave where you have it, right? The top is fine. You don't have to see all of this. This is too low here so imagine all of this that i'm scribbling here like an idiot <laughs> is gone so you're closer in like this but you have a nice right frame composition there i love this idea that he's waiting there uh with his kiss uh it's also less anime so you don't have to do the walk which is great and you can start the shot with so right when he when she gets to here you know, you can have, you can start him here, maybe a bit further back, so his nose is maybe here. And throughout the shot, until we lose him, he advances to where you are currently. And then he can go from like normal, almost normal lips to the kissy lips. So we can tell right before she closes, he's going in right for the kiss. And she closes that. You could also experiment, experiment with him in this pose waiting. And then right before she closes, like on this frame, you suddenly have his eyes open up. Because he realizes, wait, I don't I'm where's the kiss? It's not coming. And he just sees right before it closes. You know, it's it starts to open and right at the end you got like that big eye going, wait, what? And then she closes. Just me as a little detail. I think that could be interesting as well. But I love the idea. That's totally great. You might want to move that foot around just a bit here. So you have a bit of a cleaner silhouette so you can see the foot out there. So it's not just like this stomp. If you squint, it's like just like a straight leg like that. And this gets a bit messy there silhouette-wise, but it could probably work. It just aligns perfectly with her chest. It's a bit of a tangent. So maybe his hand is here. No, it looks like she would grab her chest there, but I think it's not crazy. Just It's just right there. I would probably just bring that. So she's holding it behind her somewhere around here, maybe. Or you can experiment with here, where maybe he has a fist or like tense hands. He's nervous, he's waiting. And then when she continues and you see his eyes, if you do this, his eyes wide, you will see a glimpse of his hands and the fingers are relaxing as he's realizing, wait, what's going on? You can play around with it. <clears throat> For her, yeah, I mean, that all works. You have to work on the mechanics of flattening the hands, all the good stuff there as she pushes some chest, some uh, shoulder and chest rotation there. You know, as she slides forward, a bit of a weight change. She might move over a bit more left and then right. Just mechanics-wise, keep going. But that's great, too. So she closes this, right? And I like that she, she drops her, her head. So you can probably... You know, that hand that's behind her, start dropping it already. So at this point, maybe that hand is here. So that by the time she drops her head, you can drop her shoulders a bit. 
and then that hand could already be lower. So it's a, it's a more overall view of things are coming down, lowering, because she that's how she feels. So it's in like in this this pose, not pose, but arms down a bit sooner. The same thing here, you're moving this around, although you are moving over, that's good for weight shift. Good job for your, for your uh, pelvis. This gets a bit swimmy, I'm looking at this foot. You know, it's like she just stops and then the other foot kind of pivots, but then you have this weird pivot suddenly on the toes. It's a bit swimmy dancy and a bit fast. I'm not quite buying the physics of this. This is just like a magical rotation in Y versus you do this, maybe she stops here a bit sooner with an angled foot like that and really plant it and don't move it. And then she takes that step. And right at the end, you might start pivoting on her toes to get there. And then after that pivot, you could do like a slight adjustment, not a step, maybe like a slight raising step. <gasps> then when you go back here, just make sure that she's not too far away. I have a feeling she's potentially a bit too far away. So when she goes, bam, that might hurt her back a bit too much. So be mindful of how you're going to approach that. And when you do this, you really want to feel... Like right now, it feels like she's just going backwards. And you want a bit of a rotation. So she's hitting the wall with her um, butt first. And it's rotated forward. So when she actually hits the wall, you can feel how the root, bam, suddenly stops. And then the chest goes back. There's some impact on the arms. Impact a bit on her head. I don't know if she has hair controls for polish. So you feel that moment a bit more how she hits this. <sighs> and she drops a bit fast. To me, it would be she goes back, boom, hits this with a little bit of a pause, then slowly starts sliding, then hits the fastest point right before the cut. So if you need to extend the shot by a couple of frames to get all this, <sighs> totally fine. But I like that at this point, the feet are going forward. I think that's cool. And then we cut to this. Why is it so hard to find a good man? And I don't mind this. You could be closer, maybe. Maybe. You could. But then when you go to this, I'm not sure if she gets too cut out. I don't know. You could. You could try it. I mean, it's an easy change. Because I can see how this might be where those big blue shapes there for her leg. Which you could also potentially cheat and just bring those knees lower. If he's already slid down pretty far. But then the question is, when you bring those legs up, like what are your acting choices? Do you bring those up and then she she wraps her hands, uh, you know, around the knees and she holds her knees into that? Does she totally drop her legs down? Like imagine she's she's sliding down, she's like this, and then she ends up just taking, putting her legs out to that full like our shoulders slumped, even legs are down. That could be an acting choice. She could be slightly closer to this. So when she's done with her... It's so hard to find a good man. Good man. So man, at the very end, she would be, you know, she could almost be leaning over. And then she has like a full lean with her head against this. With her little hair punched in a bit. You know, like that. You can feel that contact, how she's leaning against that wall. Going over there. That could be something. So... Like, as an idea, everything I think, I think is great. The timing generally works. You know, you're going to have to work on, like I said, like how fast she slides down, how quickly she stops, um, stuff like that, just for the proper weight and mechanics. And then now that we're here, uh, experiment going closer. I mean, I'm totally up for it. Why not? This could be fine too. And just think about your acting choices. So maybe it will be here like that. So you have room if you want to lean her head against this or she's... You know, if that's the wall, that her head is like this, and then she ends up leaning her head back against the wall, and the hair kind of smooshes up behind her. So either lean over, lean back, or she starts and then puts her head, you know, onto her knees while holding on to it. Like, there are all kinds of ways. Just all depends what you want to do. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. So I would start looking into that, shooting some reference, acting things out, finding reference online if you have something, uh, and go from there. All right? Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right? Thank you.